Hello, you are watching The Garden Corner Show. We are a show where we're crazy passionate about everything gardening. I am J-Dog John Karspoom. I'm out here with Mr. Dave and Jim Seal from Blooming Nursery. We're out here shopping for... <laughs> Hi, Jim. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> good, good. Uh, we are out here shopping for some plants. Um, we're seeing the latest and greatest, and I want to get right into it because there's so many plants out here. So excited. I've got Jim here because he's going to tell me the latest and greatest. So get right into it. Jim, first plant right here. And Angelica. Angelica, okay. Tell me about this. It's great. Glossy green leaves throughout uh, the year. Uh, it is actually a, a perennial. Perennial. Beautiful white flowers in the summertime. It's about three foot tall. After it blooms or when it's finishing the bloom, give it a little trim back and it'll be a happy plant year round for you. A cool, cool foliage. You see, did you catch that up there? Isn't that nice neat? texture on it. It would be great in a container, I think so as well. I picked this one too. I really like this foliage feel. Tell me about this guy. This is a Jerusalem sage, Flomus fruticosa. Uh, great texture, container in the ground. Uh, we'll have a beautiful yellow flower on it in the summer months. Uh, just a marvelous plant, about, again, three foot to four foot tall. And, and this one's got that weird Dr. Seuss bloom, too, it doesn't does. it? And? The yellow flowers will start at the bottom, and then it has a stalk and another flower stalk on it. Balls kind of going up on the stem. Huh. Beautiful plant. Very cool. Um, I want to talk about heebies. Tell me. Well, this one is great. This is called Red Edge. And uh, one of the hardier ones, great um, block of blue flower, or foliage I should say, with uh, the new growth coming out a little bit on the red side uh, when it first emerges. And then it'll have a nice wonderful uh, flower in the summertime, which yeah. will be kind of a, a light blue. It's it about three feet big, three, feet, three feet by three feet, yeah. Exactly. Now, uh, this Hebe. Now, Hebe's sometimes survive, sometimes don't survive. And... Um, but on the whole, they're hardy. Exactly. A lot of times uh, the hebes are zoned a certain number, cold hardy, but the roots are hardier than what the foliage might be. So you might see some dead growth or some dieback on it, but it'll emerge from the base up and come back up through. Uh, this one is uh, La Favorite. La Favorite. La Favorite. Okay. <laughs> Great foliage again. It kind of comes up cut and a little more of a, like a rosé type uh, foliage growth with a dark stem, maroon stem on it. Uh, this one will have a, kind of a purple lavender bloom on it in the summer months also. And if you haven't seen those Hebe blooms, they're very, very striking. I picked this, this one here, Turkish Delight. One of my new favorites. It's one of the newer ones out there, Turkish Delight. Beautiful purple foliage. Um, even holds up the color well in the summertime too for you. And this one will have shades of blue and uh, lavender shades to it. Uh, some people talk, say it's touched with a little bit of mauve to the, the flower on it. Uh, what the heck color is mauve? <laughs> okay, now we're talking a true perennial primrose. We are. Sunset Shades, uh, one of the nice color on it. You can't beat the color for early in the year. Uh, coming out of winter now, going into spring. Beautiful red. Sometimes they're tinged with a little bit of orange in them or a little bit of yellower tints to them. Beautiful plant. Uh, the flowers will come up about six, eight inches taller than the foliage. Uh, overall size is about 12 to 14 inches diameter on it, but just an early bloomer, a must-have for a shaded garden. Yeah, very, very cool. More cool plants. <laughs> Tell me about this guy, because I love this one with that foliage color. Yeah, this is uh, Phygelius uh, Sunshine. Beautiful uh, chartreuse foliage throughout the year. Great shade plant. And it will have a bloom that will vary in the situation, meaning can be orange, reddish shades on it. Uh, great hummingbird plant. Um, we'll all bring hummingbirds throughout yeah, the year. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. in the winter, if there's a few blooms on it, it'll go bring them in. Uh, very dependable perennial, too, on these guys, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Now, I picked a couple of them in some uh, in some four inch containers, and uh, the reason why I picked these four inch is because now this is digitalis and it's a common foxglove, right? Correct. Um, this, just a helpful hint, 
is that these guys, buying them in a smaller container, especially the dependable perennials, can save a lot of money. So maybe this year, think about that, uh, buying in a little bit earlier to save some money. Um, Definitely. Uh, take a look at these roots. Exactly. We uh, On our perennials, three and a half inch, we start them in the fall, grow them on in the winter. So we actually fertilize it, meaning they'll bloom the first year for you. Uh, Digitalis, a lot of other perennials too, yeah. the same way. Take a look. So, so Selaginella. Selaginella. No, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, another one great for shade, partial shade areas. Just great, helps brighten up uh, a container or the shaded area to mass planting. Yeah. Beautiful plant that pumps out. Yeah, I got to show you this one. Now, I really like this one from last year. This is just a neat one, too. It is. This is uh, Sedum Cape Blanco, uh, which is great about this one. It comes out with the silver rosettes. Um, in the wintertime, it has a little bit more of a reddish tint to it. Uh, beautiful plant, yellow flowers, great ground cover, low water, um, up to uh, alpine gardens, rockery areas, mm -hmm. beautiful little spreader. One of those tough as nails plants that, yes. <laughs> that um, um, it just makes it easy. So you don't yes, have to, you don't have really, and I do have to say, I do have to show this quart pot. Right. Um, uh, just another example of saving some money as well. Definitely. Quart sizes work well. Um, they're basically a, a quart is a gallon size. Um, got a good root on them, a good start. A lot of the perennials we divide in the fall again. Pot them up into a quart for the early sales this time of year. Um, great money saver for the mm -hmm. consumer. Isn't that a, just a cool Hebe too? Isn't that neat? Right. Hebe anyway. Vernicosa. <laughs> Hebe Vernicosa. Well, I get that's. That's the plants we found over here at Blooming Nursery, and you know we are in the worst part of the nursery. This is the I mean, <laughs> this is the great part because this is a loading dock because it's just about head, heading to our store, but it's the ugliest part of the nursery because this is really a beautiful area. Anyway, Jim, thank you very much for the uh, for the tour. Thanks for the uh, for showing off the plants. That's the show for the day. If you didn't get anything from this, here is your thought for the day. There is an ex <laughs> sorry about the loading dock. There is no better demonstration of faith than a man planting seed in a field. I don't know who said that, but that's the thought for the day. Always, you ready? One, two, three. Live your passion.